Hey there, MWG Tabletop fans, Josh back to bring you another Team Yankee Battle Report. Today I will be uh, busting out some Warsaw Pact forces once again. I'm going to be playing some East Germans. And my opponent for today is... John. And uh, what are you running? So I'm running a British Mechanized Company and a Medium Recce Squadron. We play and call it work. Let's start off at uh, taking a look at what 100 points of East Germans look like. So I'm running a T-72B Panzer Battalion here. So of course I've got my one HQ tank. I've got two little T-72B Panzer companies of four tanks each. Supporting that, I have a six strong T-72M Panzer company, pair of BRDM twos a medium sized BMP-1 motor Schutzen company, a grand total of four SA-13 Gophers, and then four Schilkes as well. In support, I have a battery of three Acacias, I have a BMP-1 observation post, I have three Spandrels, and I got some new planes. Uh, so these are my four strong SU-22 fitters, the uh, fighter bombers. And that's 100 points of the nose of East Germans. Moving across the board to look at the British forces, what am I playing against today? So I have a medium recce squadron held, uh, led by two Spartans, two troops of four Scorpions, and a full strength striker guided weapons troop. And then I have an FE-432 mechanized company with the company HQ, a mechanized platoon with uh, Milan 2s, a, another mechanized platoon without Milan 2s, a Milan section, a Spartan MCT, a eight mortar carrier platoon, and challenger troop, full strength. In support, I got three times chieftain marksmen and two times tracked rapiers. The mission we are playing today is no retreat. The enemy are on the defensive, smash them before the reserves can arrive and save them. So, special rules, we have ambush and deep immediate reserves for the defender, which will be the British today. Uh, so basically, I get, uh, you know, a little strip of a deployment zone here for my forces. I get to start with everything on the board. And then uh, John has placed four minefields outside of my deployment zone. Now, actually winning this game, I win if I end my turn holding an objective. Pretty simple, two objectives that are in John's deployments there. And then uh, John's gonna win if he ends any of his turns after the sixth without any of my tanks or infantry teams within eight of an objective. So basically he's just trying to keep me off the objectives and hold off long enough for his uh, reinforcements to show up. And here we go, this is the table we are playing on today. Uh, as always, uh, it's it's everything you see is Gale Force 9. Um, and I think everything you see here, yeah, this is all of the pre-painted stuff. The roads come pre-done. So this is all the battlefield in a box stuff. You can just uh, go online and buy yourself all the battlefield in a box. And it's, excuse me, they're double-sided uh, gaming mat as well. Look at the deployment. BMP-1s, observer, artillery. Uh, the Shilkas who can put a little bit of work in. You got a lot of light vehicles that they can try to tear up. Um, T-72Bs, the Commander, Scout Cars, Spandrels, T-72Bs, the T-72Ms, which are going to push probably strong up this road. You've mined either side, but I can still go down the road. And uh, these Gophers, who are definitely not going to be spotters all game. They're going to be spotters all game. From there, we've got, uh, I'm always bad with the British vehicles, so these are your... Scorpions. Scorpions hanging out there. Uh, you do have dismounted infantry inside the church. Yes. Uh, rapiers, marksmen. Yes. And then over this way. We got uh, the, the Spartan MCTs with the Milans, mortars, the HQ for the medium recce squadron, more scorpions, and in the back of the forest there you have the uh, HQ for the mechanized company. Gotcha. And then in here you got a mechanized platoon with the Milans. Very cool. Well, without further ado, let's get to it. I will once again just give you a quick little overview of where all my stuff is and uh, get moving. I am ranged in on the forest over there. It's not uh, anything underneath it right now, so I don't really care about that. You have a ranged in marker right here in between these two minefields and your other minefields are right there. 
Yeah. All right, here we go. There's been a whole bunch of dashing. So bringing the BMPs, T72Bs up. Uh, just a tactical speed for the Shilkas, because I'm going to bring them up and just start to pepper shots here. Try to force a little bit of an engagement. Um, Spandrels have moved up with BRDMs. My command here is moving up with his T72Bs. The T72Ms have went ahead and done a dash to get up towards the objective while avoiding the minefield. And my uh, totally not just uh, spotter gophers are going to move over to here. So that's all for movement. I'm not trying to bring strike aircraft on this turn. So that's why I didn't bother rolling for it. We're just going to get over to shooting where my little observer way over there is going to be observing back over to here. Just trying to drop some uh, acacia artillery on you. Alrighty, yeah, so dropping it eh, right about here-ish, as, as, as good as I can see. So that'll hit the majority of the infantry in there, all these vehicles, and one of the rapiers, if I can land it there. So yeah, let's start off with uh, ranging in. So I'm skill four, and then plus one because the observer is observing, the dedicated observer, but then minus one because I am over tall terrain. So I'm just looking for a four here. That's a no. That's a no. Come on, on the third attempt, I am ranged in. Now, for anybody wondering, doing the individual rolls for everything could take forever. I, when I roll, it's just as the dice lie, just to make it simple. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm looking for sixes because it's third attempt here. Let's see if I can hit the, uh, those are 432s, right? Yes. Neither of them get hit. The one rapier does not get hit, luckily. The three marksmen, nobody gets hit. And then how many infantry am I hitting? Four. Four. Let's see what that roll looks like. I don't hit any of them, but I am ranged in back here at least. So there is that. Okay, not too, not too shabby, not too shabby. Mostly everything else of mine dashed. So the only other real shooting I have is going to be the Shilkas. With range penalties and the rest of that, those Shilkas shooting into your infantry, um, I'm looking for sixes into fives. It's seven up to hit. So sixes, and I've got two, sorry, three potentials so far, and then fives. Yep, I got one. All right, I'm gonna take the lid off for now real quick. So the little Milan team that could, you get your infantry save, and you pass with the three up. He's A-OK, -okay, but uh, he knows what's coming next turn. So I think that is going to be that for my turn. Getting some board position, kind of moving up a little bit, putting a heavy threat over here. And then, uh, yeah, let's get ready for British turn number one. Starting off with the reserve roll. Five up to bring something in. Is that a, is that a, a one six. or a six? That's a, a six. six. Cool. So I assume your challenger's rolling on? Yes, sir. Nice. So that is the challengers rolling on. And I jumped the gun a little bit making your roll reserves because you also have your ambush showing up there that I should have shown off. Other than that, um, I think you've got a squad pinned down, it was? Yes. What's their... Uh, four. Four? Four up, I believe, yeah, because uh, rally's four up. Gotcha. Yep, so they're fine. And <laughs> then, yeah, we're going to go ahead, show off where all of your stuff currently is, and then where it all ends up. All right, and movement is done here for the British. So basically, got a dodge. Are they sitting there? Yeah, they Except have in to. the bombardment? Fair enough. Um, you did a dash with your marksman. Yes. And other than that, the main thing is the scorpions? Yes. Moving up to over there. Right, so that's the only thing that's basically moved and the ambush. Yeah. Okay, shooting is gonna begin with the swing fire shooting into that front T72 there. Uh, I just need you to roll poorly for me, but you have not been so far, so we'll see how this goes. All right, hitting you on threes. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, so we've got a singular hit. That's a good start for me. What's the AT on them? That is 23. Ooh, straight to firepower. Looking for threes. Yep, so you get the front tank. We got a couple Milan 2s now uh, shooting out of the building into, is it just next, next tank in line? Yes. Cool. So I'm getting a little bit of concealment. So fours. Uh, you got one hit anyways. And again, it's just straight to firepower, three up. Okay, no, you're just going to bail them out. So from here, we're going to go over to the, I keep wanting to say swing fires. But Spart I know not. Spartans. Spartans. Yeah. Firing, and this will be your primary target here. So no yes. concealment. Uh, just looking for uh, threes to hit. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so three to assign. Oh yeah, so assigning there, the AT on these, these are Milan 2s again? Yes. Okay, so you're just looking for uh, three ups to uh, kill. Uh, so up front, bailed. Oh. Uh, next one in, or here, well, let's do this one. Okay. Bailed, and then the last one, destroyed. Okay, what's next then? The next thing that's gonna fire is these two Milans into, these, into this bailed out tank. Yep. Yep, because you can't see a ton. Uh, let me look. Okay, yeah, you can totally see these two here. One hits. Okay. And uh, I just roll your firepower in. Bail. No, double okay, bail. so double bail. Okay, so looking for a four up here for the remount. Nope, nope, uh, they're gone. Toodaloo. All right, next little bit of shooting here is going to be your challengers putting shots straight ahead into my T-72Bs. Needing three? Freeze, yep. I need to sign in two. All right, I do have decent front armor here, so I'm looking for a four to ignore and a three to, uh, you know, match. So uh, let's see. Again, we're just gonna roll them. I roll them as the dice lie. Okay. Uh, so that tank is fine, and then over here, uh, I need a firepower check to see if you bail me out. All right. You bail me out. Then we've got a couple scorpions shooting over into the lead BMP there as their primary target. Let's see what you got. Uh, do you have laser range finders? No, I do not. Eh, they might be on fours then. Likely on fours. Likely on fours, we'll say fours. Well, that, that, that works. Uh, firepower checks on the front two there is the dice lie, and it's two up firepower. Exactly. Oh, well, that's that's enough. All right. With those being destroyed, the infantry inside. Uh, we're gonna start. Uh, but just before I place, we'll do the uh, RPG squad there on a three up. Uh, nope, they're destroyed. And then uh, <laughs> the AK squad are fine. And then the other one, the AK squad, uh, is dead. And the RPG is dead. Okay, cool. I don't gotta find space for him. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, and that's what it looks like at the end of the turn. Overall, pretty solid British turn. You were able to go ahead and get some uh, get some good reinforcements on, some expensive reinforcements. These guys are what, 33 points for the three of them? Yeah, 33 points. Yep, makes a lot of sense. And then, um, yeah, able to inflict some casualties. I still obviously have a lot of fight in me as we get ready for East German turn number two. Alrighty, um, start of the turn. Let's see if my strike aircraft are showing up on a four up. They are not. I really could have used them this turn. Really, really could have used you guys showing up. Oh, let's do the rest of the rolling here. Let's see if I can unpin that lone fellow there on a four up. He does unpin. He's in it to win it. He cares not. Let's see if I can remount that T-72. He's also in. And then from there, come across the board, trying to get both these guys back in. Four ups. Uh, neither of them do. They're perfectly content where they're sitting right now, I guess. Other than that, let's show off where all of my stuff currently is sitting, and I'll show you where it ends up. Alrighty. Not happy with anything going on. Uh, Shilka moved up and then bogged down immediately. Uh, my infantry are now all inside of this building, and just a, a failed blitz, so these guys just moved over. We have my T-72Bs rolling up here in the middle. I'm kind of bogged down. I don't want to roll across the minefield and lose my T-72s on my own turn. So they've moved up towards the edge of it because the road is being blocked by my T-72Ms that are bailed out. So I can't really drive through them, now can I? Um, so that's, I mean, that's the majority of the stuff I have going on. Uh, let's call in artillery. Yeah, so I could try to, I, I mean, I could just drop the artillery here again, but you've got valuable stuff under it, but this is the major problem I need to take care of right now. So I think I'll probably be dropping over this way. All right, yep, I think we're gonna use the uh, BRDMs to spot. I'm gonna be dropping it uh, right about here. So I'll be hitting all of these, hopefully, and uh, two of the challengers. Oh, or no, no, yeah, no, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna hit all three of the challengers, so it's gonna be more like, here-ish. Hitting all three of the challengers, if I can land it, and then two of the marksmen. Just four up skill because I'm having to, uh, actually let me check my spotter. Yeah, my spotter can't see where he's at, so yeah, the BRDMs are the ones spotting. So, range again. Come on! I give up. I concede. 
<laughs> Was that Man, three in a row? You need to change your dice. Apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to rolling my Josh dice. Oh, that's a problem. That's a major problem for me. Uh, I figured 50-50 chance three times I get one of those. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm, and your front armor... On the chieftains, or? Is the chieftain, sorry, the challengers are 20s, right? Correct. Yeah. Well, lads, try to sell your lives dearly as you're staring down the barrels of those. Ah, uh... oh, see, I was hoping to at least force the challengers to move, too. Right. So we're going to have the three lead tanks here. Uh, try to put, lose my tanks quickly. I uh, will just shoot into your marksman. And then the other fella in the back here is going to be shooting at that uh, scorpion. Yep. In the back. So we'll try to shoot the scorpion first, I guess. I miss him. And then uh, shooting into the marksman. Huh. I'd said I was going to change dice and then I didn't do the thing. Well, uh, let's uh, let's uh, <laughs> let's figure out something else to shoot at in the moment. Oh, let's go over here. I got one long bomb shot with a T72M into these lads. Uh, it's a six to hit. No, nope, that's a, that's a, <laughs> I'm using the other dice and they still rolled ones. Okay. Uh, the T72s here. There's gonna be one without any valid targets. So these three here are just gonna pop shots. I I guess I'm just gonna try to bully the scorpions because it's what I can see that I have range on. Um, so I got three here shooting, looking for fours. Hey, I got two hits. So we'll assign right. hits to the front two. Um, so the front front one, two up firepower. We get them, and then the next one, we get them. It does force you to kind of come up to the objective, and I gotta kind of keep in mind that's my goal here. I think next we're gonna go with the spandrels, and I'm just gonna have all three of them uh, zip shots down range at your marksman. All right, go, go, get them, spandrels. Uh, looking for fours to hit. Okay, so I managed to hit two. Uh, so we'll just assign thing one, thing two. Uh, straight to firepower, so looking for a three up here. Bailed, and then the other one, destroyed. Nah. All right, uh, I mean, I, I could have continued rolling completely awful. Let's go these Shilkas. They're going to open up on this little uh, infantry squad here again. We'll just pick that random uh, one fun Milan there as my primary target. And uh, I did get within 16 inch range, so I'm now just looking for sixes. Yes. Yeah, scratch that. It's fives because you are not uh, gone to ground anymore. Hey, okay, so I'm going to get two hits. Uh, we'll just assign them on Milan one, Milan two there. Uh, so your infantry saves as they lie. Yeah, you pass them both. You are fine. They care not. I got a bunch of infantry that are going to shoot, though. Okay, I got some PKMs that are going to shoot over now. Um, let's see what I can't get. I believe uh, with heavy weapon, I'm hitting you on sixes on these. But I've got two bases, so... Hey, I got a hit! And again, we will just be assigning that to one of the uh, lucky little uh, Milan teams. Infantry save. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, so in my assault rifle teams, I get this twice. I should just be looking for fives because they are not heavy weapons. Uh, so you're pinned. There's that at least. Yep. Um, before we sign, technically, I had to do this twice. Second volley. Ooh. Okay, so I got a bunch of hits. Yeah, sorry, this is getting a little bit messy. I should have divvied this up differently. Uh, let's go ahead and... How many t bases do you have total? Ten. Ten? Uh, so everybody except for your your one of your Gustav squads will be taking a hit so far. Let's start off, roll the Milan team for me. Okay. Yeah, they're fine. The two Gustav teams. So oh. one of them has failed. I think firepower is six, though. Nope, don't get one. And then... Um, the rest of your, you basically your uh, AR teams. Okay. Yeah, the one of them fails. I don't destroy him. It's fine. We got you pinned for the, uh, the assault coming. All right, that's that. Um, kind of a weak shooting phase. So you know, if you stay pinned down, next turn I can just assault the heck out of you, and hopefully that works. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let's just get ready for huh, British turn two. Okay, rolling for reserves once again. I get two dice, don't I? For yeah, for turn two. Yeah. yeah. 
Yep, so everybody's in. All right, uh, checking to see if we remount here. You do remount, so you're back in it to win it. And then uh, do the lads rally over there in one of four? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Is, no, no, that's that's a five all day, every day. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're going to go over to the rest of the movement, show off where everything is. Like I said the new lads just came in back over there. And uh, let's see where it all ends up. Okay, not a ton of movement happening. There was a blitz move there. And there was a dash move here to get the marksman out of dodge. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to have the mortars attempting to range in. And you're dropping the template right, or sorry, the markers right here. Yeah. Uh, so you're out of the danger close range, and yeah, looking for fours, because you're touching tall terrain. Yeah, you get it on a six. Must be nice, <laughs> John. Hey. Must no. be nice. You know what, maybe uh, you want to try these dice? No, kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you get the building completely covered. You're just picking on the infantry inside. Um, you know what, let's just make this nice and easy, because they're all kind of clustered up. Uh, let's check to see if you are hitting my uh, PKM teams. There's two of them. Two of them? Yeah. Uh, Reroll because of the side. Oh yeah, the saves on them. Okay, they both, <laughs> they, they both failed to take two fire fire tests. Okay, what's the fire fire on this? Uh, I believe they're four ups. Four ups, cool. Okay, well you only killed one. You got the four RPG teams. Uh, yep, they all hit. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's uh, see what I can. Ha! Ah, I failed two of them. That's pretty good for, uh, you know, supposed to pass two out of three. I guess. Um, so just two firepower checks? Yep. Oh. And you got six teams with assault rifles. Okay. Help, I'm being bullied. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, so it's six saves coming up. Oh. I only failed one. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go mix up some uh, salt and water so I can check the uh, balance on these dice to see how <laughs> they are. You know how bad mine are right now. <laughs> Next, we're gonna move over to here, swing fires into the 72 Bs. You have one way out in the open, so, uh, yep, we got three hits. Just assigning to the front three. All right, as the dice lie, I'm looking for fives to equal, sixes to bounce. Uh, okay, so there's one that might not just blow up. Firepower test on the one on the uh, closest to me. And you pass it, so he's bailed, and then firepower on the other two. Here, roll him right here. Oh. Ooh, no, you're good. Okay. No, no, that was a three. No, that was a two. Oh, was it a two? Yeah, that oh, one was oh, a two. Okay. I was just assuming it worked. Then the uh, last one is a, okay. So uh, you bail me out across the board. I'm gonna move over from here. We're gonna go challengers into the T-72s. Uh, you're ready to fire two when you're not moving, so. Correct. You're just looking for threes, friend. Well, you did that, that's some hits. All right. Keep switching the board on you, but I'm trying to give you guys the best angle. Uh, so lead tank is the one taking two. Um, so this one, we, we're over 16, aren't we? Looking for fours to ignore here on the lead tank. Uh, so I ignore one, but firepower test on the other. You get him. Okay, uh, over here. Uh, nope, firepower check. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, this one right here. He ignores, and then the one in the back. He ignores, ignores too. Cool. So, okay, I've only lost half. Dumbledore said calmly. Okay, and then what's up next? So these two Milans into your T-72Bs. Yep, yep, it makes a whole lot of sense. Trees, you hit them both. Uh, and I know I keep asking, but it's AT- 24. 24. <laughs> so sixes. Yep. On the front tank, no. On the rear tank, no. Firepowers, front tank. Three up. Mm, bailed. bailed. Destroyed. We're gonna move over from here, go to the two T-72, or sorry, the uh, the Milans in here firing at the T-72Ms across the way. Hit one, missed one. Uh, firepower check on uh, our lad right here. Destroyed. Alrighty. Uh, last little bit, these T-72Bs here are going to start taking shots from your... The, me, uh, the Spartan MCTs. Gotcha. Uh, so you got four shots total, hitting on threes. Okay. One to each tank yet again. And are these AT-24 as well? Yes. Okay, yeah, gotcha. So looking for sixes as they lie. 
Uh, so the middle one might not get blown up. That's good. So let's just do the middle one before I forget. Firepower. Okay, so you pass your firepower. So he is double bailed, so I have to try to do a remount. It's not a four, but I get a reroll. No. No, he's gone anyways. <laughs> and then the uh, firepower checks on the other two. Destroyed and bailed. bailed. Okay. Uh, so destroyed and uh, the one that's getting double bailed, four up. He's okay. You got a single card, Gustav, we forgot to, well, you know, I guess not forgot to, that we didn't notice at first. I do get some concealment, so it's a little bit tougher to hit me. So we're looking for fours? Yep. Must be nice. <laughs> uh, basically with the explosive reactive, as long as I don't roll a one, I'm fine. Okay, whew, <laughs> phew, phew, okay. Is that it? That is the end That's of my That's all you my got? Friend. That's all I got. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so yes, again, stopping me from just winning by holding the objective. Uh, and yeah, let's go to Soviet turn three, see what I can get going. All right, let's see if we can have these lads here rally in the building. I really need you to. <laughs> oh, you lads are just gonna stay pinned. Um, I got a bailed out tank here that I can try to get back in. Nope. Nope. Three up to just see if he abandons the tank. Okay, so yeah, they're still, they're thinking about it. I will do a remount on the T-72B here. Uh, pretty sure that doesn't work, but I'm gonna do the reroll. Nope, that doesn't work either. Ah! T-72M, get back in please. Oh, he's in. I realize I'm not in good spirits here. Three up. Yeah, okay, cool. We're sticking around until he gets back in at least. Uh, let's see if I can bring my strike aircraft in. Okay, the, the planes are showing up. So I, if I'm gonna lose, I'll try to lose gloriously. Okay, so strike aircraft. I'm kind of going for broke this turn. Boom, boom, I just need this to work. There's not a whole lot else to say other than I just need this to, I need you to fail spectacularly at shooting down my aircraft. I do where I'm at, I get concealment, so it's gonna bring you from threes to fours to hit on a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. You still got way too many guns, but hopefully I can mitigate uh, some of this with having a little bit of concealment. Um, so yeah, gonna bring him in there, show off where everything else is, and I just need to make some desperate pushes. Okay, highlights of my movement. Uh, I managed to get my uh, Shilkas up without uh, pinning them, or sorry, without bogging any of them down. That's kind of cool. Uh, dash the BMPs up to create a nice little protective screen around that objective. Um, but they had to dash to get there. So the scorpions are still going to be an issue that I can't deal with really. And uh, moved a couple of the T-72s. Actually, you know what? I'm probably going to turn those into dashes for the T-72Ms. I'll fix that in a minute. Um, and yeah, like I said, going for broke. Let's see what we can do. There we go. We fixed that. All right. So the first little bit is I am dropping artillery. My observer can see right about here. Uh, so that should just be cranking a shot on everything. If I can get it to land, go, go get him acacias. Oh, it lands. There we go. Bless. Um, okay. So let's see if I can hit the tanks. All right. The two challengers I managed to hit, hit on fours. Okay, so I hit one. Top armor is um, four. Again, uh, sorry, top armor is two against my anti tank four. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Well, let's see the 432s if I can hit them. Uh, so I'm going to hit the two on the ends. What's the top armor on them? They are one. Okay. So. Oh, uh, one's to bail, one's to destroy. So to destroy over here. Yep. It's destroyed, and then to bail, it's bailed. Okay, so. Destroyed, and it is a brutal weapon, so you're gonna owe me uh, double saves for the fellas jumping out. Yes, so they each carry two teams. So they have a Carl G squad and the M72 squad. Cool. Uh, which one are we rolling first? We're gonna do the Carl G. Reroll. Okay, so pass both. And then the M7, uh, and then the it's just bailed, so the M72 squad just stays in there. No, it's the other squad inside of here we're rolling for now. And the m And it's fine, but brutal. It's fine. So they both jump up, but they're pinned at least. I, I managed to land a shot. More importantly, I'm forcing the challengers to move unless they want to get hit again. 
All right, last little glorious bit here before I potentially get mopped up. Get your 10 dice ready. Uh, you're gonna hit me on fours because of the concealment. Survey says, okay, we got three hits there. Yeah. Okay, so they look like this. Uh, so over here, fails his aircraft save. Over here, fails his aircraft. Why couldn't they be fours like the frog foots? Up front, passes the aircraft save. Okay. All right. Firepower checks uh, on both of these here. Here, roll it right here for me. Yep. Uh, four ups probably for 35s. Yep. Okay, no. And okay, so you've destroyed one. Then the rapiers, you gotta split it up because one is close enough that I'm gonna get concealment, one's close enough to the building, and the other one is not. Okay, so I'll do the one with the concealment first. So looking for fours. No! Okay, so you one hit on each. One hit and on then, each. And uh, then the ones on fives. Or sorry, the ones on um, threes. I went the other way. Okay. Well. Fronts. Front. Pass one, fail one, firepower check. Three up. No! no. Okay. Next one. Failed them both. Three ups. Oh, okay. The one in the back. Failed. Please. Ah, no. okay. Cool. Rockets! <laughs> so these are the 240 mil rockets. Send it. All right. Let's try these three lads right here. Uh, or no, I gotta, ha, 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 I gotta, I gotta range in. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, skill four up. No. Come on. Okay. Larry. Well, I get it on the third attempt. Which is gonna make it sixes to hit. So uh, on the three lads right here. Nope. On the two, those are four thirty twos, right? Uh, no, uh, those are uh, Spartans. Nah, I'm never gonna get it right. I miss miss. Over to your uh, marksman. Nope, I miss miss. <laughs> and then the uh, front three artillery here, I could potentially hit. Nope. And then the back three potentially I can hit. I got a single six. Uh, so it's this guy right here. What's his top armor? One. One? Okay, a six to match. No. No, it's a two up firepower. Oh, this could be so devastating. There you go. Okay, so I could kill a mortar. Well, that's a little anticlimactic. That didn't work too well. <laughs> uh, let's try these Shilkas firing into your infantry here. All right, these would be five shooting into your infantry here. I got some hits. All right, so we'll assign uh, two of the hits on to your two uh, Milans. You said you had three Carl Gs? Yes. Three Carl Gs and then one of the random other bases. I don't really care. Okay. So we'll do the two um, Milans. Oh. oh. Firepower five up. Oh, oh, there it goes, one Milan. I, I, got, I got one, you mind if I just pull them out? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Boop. The three uh, Gustav teams. Oh. Okay, you pass all of them. And then one of the random uh, AR teams. Yeah, you're fine. But you are pinned, so there is that. But depressingly, I don't have that much else to shoot because I uh, did uh, hmm, a lot of dashing. I think I have one little T72B that can shoot over here, maybe. Yeah, never mind. I don't have any valid targets for him. But I didn't want to move him out of range of his uh, friendo there. So I think that might be it. Not looking great, but I mean, like, I am sitting on objectives. So you are going to have to put some work in to kill some BMPs. Or just bring stuff close. But I mean, either or. Either or. Uh, let's get ready for, what are we on, turn three for the British? Yes. Oh, jeez. Going to try to rally the boys here? No. Okay, so you are not rallied, so that's nice. Uh, then what's next? You gotta try to rally those two lads. They're, They're back. Fine. And then, uh, oh, sorry, it was that one that was bailed out down here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cocked. Yeah, it's cocked. We roll that one. You get back in, it's fine. And now we're just gonna go over to movement. We'll show you what ends up where. Okay, just a little bit of shuffling going on for the Brits. So the these are 432s, right? Yes. Shuffling up. Uh, fail blitz check here. So these guys are going to get the penalty to hit because they're sitting still otherwise. Uh, moving up the 432s this way along with those infantry. And uh, the lads here moved out. So we're going to go over to shooting. Where would you like to begin? So I think we're going to start with the uh, Chieftain Marksmans into your BMPs. 
That works. So we're gonna do. Uh, no, actually, sorry. You can move them back if you want. You shot at my aircraft with them, so you can't. Oh, that's them. right. No, I, I knew I was missing something there. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, they're gonna hang out here. We're good. Uh, we're instead gonna go with the scorpions, shooting into the BMPs. Uh, you've got one way out in the open, so no problem hitting. Let's see what you got. Why are you two shots apiece? <laughs> ah! It's crazy, right? Uh, okay. Well, you only hit me half. Assigning like so, it's just firepower check. So pick them up one at a time, firepower two up, right? Yep, oh, bailed. 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 Destroyed. 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 What a weird spread of dice rolls. Okay, these two scorpions shooting into the uh, uh, BMPs. Oh, there. Yeah, those all hit. <laughs> um, so basically, yeah, you assigned to those three and then one of the bailed out ones. Yeah, so we'll do that, that. Boom. Firepower checks. Boom. Well, okay, cool. I'm double bailed out, so I'm gonna have to take a check. Des or sorry, no, that's, that's destroyed. 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 Uh, bailed, bailed out. Bailed out. Bailed out. Oh, okay. Oh, looking like so. What's next? We're gonna do the uh, swing fires into it. Before we even say that, where's the tape measure? Yeah, double checking the range. I I did dash properly within the um, minimum range for these lads. And if you had tried to um, blitz back, you would have not been able to see out anyways. So. Yes. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, so the Milan's up here shooting down to the T-72Ms? Yes. Okay, show me your worst. Oh no! Double you threes. Get exactly what you needed to hit. So uh, one each. Just firepower checks. Okay, so. Okay, so bailed. there's a uh, bailed, and then here, roll it right here. Okay, double so double bailed. bailed. Luckily, uh, they come with a lot of bailed out markers. Boop, boop. What's next? We're gonna do the uh, Spartan Milan's into your T-72Bs. Yep, I got the two lads still sitting there. And hitting you on fours. Yeah, because of the uh, blitz check. One. Um, uno hit, so it's gonna be on him right there. Yes. And I think I gotta roll a six on this, right? Yes. Nope, uh, so here, right here. Do I get destroyed? I do. Goodbye. What else is there? All right, we're gonna go challengers, BMPs. I don't have anybody. Yeah, because you can just declare him and be able to hit whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we got uh, four hits total. Joke's on you, I only got three of them left. Oh. <laughs> and then one on each of those. Uh, we're looking for two of firepower, so we'll start on Buddy Boy here. Yeah, so he's, he's dead. And then the other two, dead. And double, double bailed. bailed. But in this world, that means dead. <laughs> so yeah, you get them all. Okay, so next we got a Carl G lobbing it way downtown into here. I think you're hitting me on a four. Yes. Okay, well a six. You didn't have to roll a six again. <laughs> you just rolled like a four. What's the AT on that? That is uh, seventeen. Seventeen versus uh, fifteen. <laughs> Firepower. Three up. Okay, the double bailed. Oh. That's yeah, a six. Yeah, so he's fine. All right. <laughs> wow. Yep, that's one way to put it. Just, uh, all I'm seeing is skulls and bones on these dice. It, yeah, yep. <laughs> you and me both, friend. <laughs> you and me both. Um, any other shooting to res Oh, yeah, all of that. Yes. Carl G's into the Shilkas. Okay, well, you got two hits. Uh, just straight to firepower on these. Uh, that looks like a two and a four. Okay, so you get one of them. And then what else do you have? You have the... M72s. Gotcha. Yep. Two hits. Okay, not bad. So that's on the other two. What's the anti-take on those? That is 12. And uh, Shulk has a front armor of one, so that's still not enough. Uh, so again, just two firepower checks? Yep. What's firepower on these? Five up. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> that's a five and a six. Hmm. Oh, they're gone. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna shoot mortars into the lads that are pinned in and stuck inside of here. Um, Cause I didn't want to put them out of position. But do you know what, at this point, the turn has went bad enough. I will, mercy, mercy, I will tap out. I will tap out on that one. So this is gonna be a definite British victory. Relatively short game, but that's okay sometimes. It's easier to, uh, you know, uh, Watch it quickly. <laughs> so awkward left-handed handshake. 
Good game, sir. Good game. And uh, let's get ready for post-game chat. All right, folks, welcome to the post-game chat. The chairs of despair have been acquired and we're now sitting comfortably. And so, yeah, let's get ready to talk about the game. Um, you know what? I will get this, uh, th this out of the way and just say it now. Man, oh man, did I get my butt kicked. It was, it was okay. I mean, like, you know, it was, it was, it was a tough game. There was a lot of flooding of units. Uh, the, especially the minefields really helped. The minefields uh, did make a big difference. Totally, yeah. Uh, uh, I put them all in kind of like in one spot to funnel troops. So it, it's a lot easier when you're focusing your fire on one specific troop and then taking out that. But other than that, there is just a lot of stuff, and I got really lucky on that reserve run. The reserve roll off the hop was pretty good. So yeah, I mean, we'll talk about what went well, what didn't go well. And I, I think I'll start off by saying it. Um, I'm going to reference dice rolls a lot. There's always tons you can do to mitigate your dice rolls. And there's plenty I can do in this game to mitigate dice rolls. But boy, boy, did the dice rolls. They, they weren't on my <laughs> side this, uh, uh, this game either. So yeah, looking at a couple different things here. The mission, you know, I felt fairly confident even though you had a lot on the board you had two different anti-aircraft units so i'm like uh already you know because i find a lot of the times i play people don't bring enough anti-air and um my frogfoots usually just run wild but i wanted to try the su-27 or sorry the su-22s and uh, see how they went um so yeah a little bit of a tough nut to crack and ultimately um it started going downhill i needed my artillery to do a lot more and the artillery just were not showing up to put the work in I needed them to today. Mm -hmm. um, and we kind of, I chuckled about it because originally when I wrote this list, I had some of the, uh, uh, the hail uh, rocket trucks. Cause I'm like, I know I need smoke. And then when I went to go get deployed this morning, I'm like, dang, I forgot that I had them repainted for my fins. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of scratching my head. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. I'll just do it without and it'll be fine. And uh, boy, oh boy, was it not fine. I think if I could have had a turn one smokescreen, I could have mitigated a lot of my losses um, and been able to take much more aggressive positioning and put a lot more pressure. Because I think what I got caught up with is I didn't really have any great options to remove the minefields. Yeah. But what I could have done, because I was getting kind of funneled, if I had dropped some smoke... Uh, that probably was going to give me one more turn to get my forces into position to then roll through that. So I could have smoked the heck out of a couple different areas um, that any of those would have benefited me and allowed me to kind of more safely roll a lot of my stuff through so I could break out on the next turn. And it just, yeah, it did not work out for me, and boy, boy, did it bite me in the butt. So I do have more of the... Um, I do have more of the rocket truck. It's 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 the bigger ones that cost one more point. Oh, the um, the Urigans. I think so. Pretty they're like sure. the big like MLRS. Like they look like trucks, but they're eight by eights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the Urigans. I think I've honestly got like six of them painted up sitting around. But uh, I was kind of being a dummy. I'm like, oh, they're one point more, and I don't want to drop one point from my list somewhere. So whatever, I'll just you know reshuffle a little bit. Yeah, that wasn't a smart choice. I think I added one more T72M and one more uh, Spandrelin. Yeah. And uh, the rocket trucks would have went better. Um, at the end of the day, you know what? That artillery was really scary. The artillery killed uh, my uh, chieftain marksman and, and uh, one of my transports for my infantry. So they were just kind of running out in the open, about to get blasted by brutal tank guns. Yeah, except for I just didn't have enough guns like on station to be able to do a whole lot. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, just unable to hold those, the objectives that I needed to, you were able to get your forces on the board quickly. And I was just uh, ill prepared to push as aggressively as I needed to from turn one. Do you know what? It was still, uh, it was still a tough game. The, the challengers coming on, like I said, was uh, nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest. Like I saw that I was like, oh, wow, uh, this won't happen again. This six, this early. And then... I was like, wow, I think I actually need to put my dice in some salt and water. And then check the balance. Yeah, well, I was kind of laughing. It was a lot of just individual rolls. And I'm sure, like, if we look back, they, the rolls always balance themselves out. But, yeah, you got some important rolls when you needed them. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, my aircraft didn't show up as heavy as I needed. But, honestly, I need to make a heavier investment in artillery to not let you sit so comfortably still. That's the big thing with British, right? So I didn't really move much because I actually get penalized really hard for yep. moving. 
are like it's not like the Americans or Germans where you can kind of just run and gun everywhere and you're very aggressive. You you benefit better from your armor and your distance because uh, those chalies are just gonna you know rate of fire two twenty two all the way from the back and for thirty three points for three of them like they're they're pretty good for their price point. Um, yep. And those Milans, like upgrading the Milans. This list used to have Harriers. Used to have four Harriers. I got rid of them because I found the Harriers were too fragile. And yep. you know, I want something that's a little bit more reliable. And with jets, they either come in and wreck everything, or they come in, they kill like one or two things, and then die very quickly. Yep. So I find that with the Milan two upgrade, um, it definitely was worth it, especially in, against you know, if you really want something dead. I feel like the Milan two is like a like a kill harder button <laughs> a little bit but here i'm gonna grab a uh, my book real quick so i can reference points so yeah as we look at this now keep in mind i'm not like a tournament yankee player you can tell by how badly i get beat up sometimes um but looking at the the shift overall and my philosophies for list building so i see a lot of like at 21 and 22 and that was kind of the cap i what i used to see so my 72 b's with their 18 front armor cool they yeah. would stand up to a lot of the firepower and the 72 M's, you know, with a 15 front armor, just get blown up. But now that we're starting to see the availability of a lot more heavier um, AT stuff. Hey, Ted, you can come say hi. Uh, this is uh, Ted here. Ted is uh, my painter for MCP for everybody. We, we finished up a Team Yankee, so it's the right channel at least. Okay, right on. So and here, how'd everything go? Oh boy, uh, was, oh boy, I'll tell, I'll tell you after. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, it was pretty. It was it was hit and miss. You know, it was a pretty close game. Yeah, he hit, I missed. <laughs> Good. Nice change of pace then. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, we're back. Ted was dropping off some uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol stuff for me, so uh, I guess if you're a fan of the channel, keep your eyes peeled because I have some uh, new minis to play with. But yeah, sorry, back to this game. Yeah, there was, um, I don't know, it was an interesting force. The British are, are weird to me. You've got, a, you've got a lot of like weird little value units. A lot of weird little specialized valuable units. And they're very, they're, so British are very good on the counterattack. So they, they dig in very aggressively, especially with three Carl G's and the Milan spam that basically happens in all British lists. And then once everything is basically like, uh, just not destroyed, but like basically when the, the, the playing field is even, your challengers are basically able to run around. You, you're a little bit safer. Here, grab that book again. I remember where we were at when we left. We were looking at uh, T-72Bs compared to M's. Yes. So, yeah, so the M's aren't really standing up to a whole lot, but I mean, like with most of it now, you're going to see a lot more NATO high anti-tank with... Um, uh, the Milan 2s and all that. So what's the... Because the 72M doesn't have as good of a gun. I think it's only AT-21 on that? Yes. So it's only AT-21 and 15 front armor. But for 10 of them, or 9 of them, because if we're doing... Well, it gets more expensive. So just what's the what's the cost for 3 of them? For 3 of them is 7 points. It's 7 points compared to 3 72Bs is... Is, let me see here... Like 11 or more? For three is 13 points. 13, okay, so 13. So yes, I can get almost twice as many 72 M's. Uh, and obviously the points get a little bit more expensive as you add more tanks in because that's how it works for the morale system and how things work. But yeah, I'm starting to pay a little bit more attention to the 72 M's and go, uh, you know what? Uh, once you get into some of these big anti-tank uh, um, launchers, the, the Milan 2s and the Toe 2s and stuff like that, Dead tank's a dead tank. I mean, like, the difference between 18 armor and 15 armor, uh, you know, I can I can try to throw a die on, on like, a 6, mm -hmm. see if I can stick around, or not throw a die at all. So I'd rather have almost, like, double the amount of tanks uh, plus other support kind of stuff and um, instead of just relying on rolling 6s. So as much as I love my 72Bs, maybe I'll start to pay attention to 72Ms a little bit more now as well. Yeah, because you get a lot more of them, because the biggest thing that NATO tanks can do uh, is maneuver, but it, they can't bring as many of them. So if you have the tanks that can maneuver, because no matter what, you're moving or staying still, you're yep. always going to be one shot, but you can outmaneuver the NATO tanks because you can have two groups of 10, right? So yep. if I'm looking at the Ms here... And you have two groups of 10, that's 35 points. So even if you put like one group in reserve if at a 100 point game yep. with like five points to spare, you still have 10 tanks on the, on the table. Well, how many of them can you get for, is there is there a number you can take for 13 points? For 13 points, you can take, 
Like for the M's or the B's? The M's. The M's, there's none for 13 points, but if you want to get four, they're 11, and five is 15. Okay, so even if you're taking them in fours for 11s, that's... You're saving points and getting an extra tank over the bees anyways. So that could easily get you more artillery, more air, like some of the support that could potentially kind of push you over the edge a little bit. So I need to explore a little bit more. I think at my heart, we talked about this earlier, I lean a little bit more towards NATO um, and that play style of wanting to dig in and play defensive. But uh, I do want to, ex I, I want to be better with the Soviets. I just need to, I, I think the major thing is I need more practice. I need to play this game more often. So we need more guests to come in so I can play more often. Yes. And it was a fantastic, honestly, it's, it's been great. This, the, the game was, uh, is really intense. I got scared when I saw the tanks and the, the staff here is really nice. So, I mean, come in for a game. It's been great. Yeah. It's, it's a fun little experience for anybody that's kind of unsure. Mini Wargaming is always... We try to lean into playing against uh, the community more and more because it provides a lot more variety and I think it's a little bit more indicative of the kind of gaming that people are doing at home. So I think there's a relatability to it um, instead of just playing, you know, the same staff over and over and over again. You know, we, we get the chance to get guests and see different play styles, see different armies and kind of get a little bit more experience with the community overall. So if you want to come in and play, just shoot me an email, josh at anywhereaming.com. Um, and that's for any of the different systems that we play here. Some are easier to get in as a guest, some are a little bit tougher because there's a lot more people applying. Right now there's not a ton of Yankee people coming in, so um, it's one of those games that uh, you know I love to play, so hopefully mm -hmm. we can yeah continue to get uh, more and more folks kinda coming in to play it. But yeah, I do want to get some more experience with the more numerous forces, even though right now my West Germans are getting a repaint. Um, so they show up on camera a little bit nicer. Uh, so I'm excited to get them out rolling again. But yeah, I gotta really start to look at Soviet tanks and figure some stuff out. Cause going on the opposite side of it now too, um, I just got some T-80s in. Obviously I wouldn't be using them in this list unless they're allied in, but when I'm playing Soviet proper, I've got some of those T-80s, but now I'm scratching my head more and more. Like they got good armor, but Milan 2's, Toe 2's, anti-tank was at 24, I think. Yeah. Um, cool. I can stop them, but also with how many missiles you can put in, I think I might lean into running, you know, more cheaper tanks that have a lot more stuff in support. Yes. I think that's where it's going to be moving to because right now, even the Soviets don't have really those high AT missiles until you bring in like Heinz or SU-25s. Yep. Something in the air, right? If, if anything... I think uh, that should be the next stop is like, hey, let's let's give the, the Soviet players some sort of way to have high AT. Because right now, I think the infantry, the highest AT they can get in terms of the pack side, so this includes Soviets yep. and everyone else, is the PG-7VR, which is the AT-19 and 2 yeah, say, that's Yeah, it's just the 19th. Oh, we got to change batteries. Okay, sorry. Back again. Sorry for all the interruptions. Ugh. But yeah, looking at, um, yeah, shifting up potentially what it is that I am going to be um, bringing and looking for some more efficiency. I don't want to go down the route of like, here, here are my, you know, 40 T-55s. Good luck. No, please. I don't want to play that way. <laughs> that is... uh, I don't love how it looks. It's just, um, you know, not my cup of tea. I, do you know what, honestly, but on, it's, uh, it's definitely a, a different kind of play style. Um, I think T seventy twos strikes that like the M's. They strike a good balance between efficiency, their cost, and what you can do with them. Because the more you have on the field, the more you could start to flank. You could start to hit the sides because yep. they're, the way you deal with pack tanks is you concentrate your fire and you just keep dashing. That's all you do. You just keep dashing until you get to the sides. Um. Obviously, NATO infantry is a lot different, yep. and in terms of quality, they just have a lot of good high AT. Uh, most of them actually have AT GMs, even the Dragon, like, one. And talking about Dragon, Dragon 2 now with 21 AT. Yep. Right? So now you have basically Milan 1s with the Americans, plus you got Toe 2s. And uh, I think the Soviets are going to need something, or just the Pact in general, are going to need something that can equal out that balance because it, it shouldn't just be like a spammy or I wouldn't say spammy, but uh, very cheap units that you could full put in full, 
right? It had there has to be sort of sort of a tit for tat, and if we're in the '90s, Conker's M it just fits right there. Well, that's where yeah, because they're starting to come up with some more modern stuff. Because I mean, like we've got tanks like the Leo Two A Five and the Leclerc in the game now. So I'm curious to see the next release that they do for Soviet or Warsaw Pact or something like that. What mm -hmm. sort of what sort of kind of upgraded tech that we get into um, there? Because yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, Milan 2, that would still be, I think that's, they started testing them mid-80s. I might be wrong, because I know there's other variants of it. Um, they came out, like, near the trail end of the 80s, like 88, 89, or something like that. Uh, well, I know there's different versions of the Milan 2 as well, because mm -hmm. I think the initial one was mid-80s, but I don't know how much they actually deployed. I gotta, now, now I gotta go read about ATGMs. <laughs> but yeah, um... I'm having fun with this. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. This was uh, this was great. This was uh, super fun. I think uh, I think the list is pretty good for what it is. Um, yeah, the British list. I dig it. Yeah, the Brit like it fits my playstyle more. I like being more of, not a static player, but you know having the wall approach and having good fields of fire. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the minefields, like I said, really helped out in terms of those fields of fire because I had to funnel everything. Uh, and those Milans just really put in the work. Uh, I know a lot of things are bailed out, but uh, things are about to go into bad spirits. And it was uh, it was definitely uh, a good call to put the, uh, the minefield so close together. But I was still scared. Don't get don't get it twisted. Still, well, that was the thing. Like if my artillery had, had hit turn one, yeah, and wiped out uh, you know uh, some AA. And that just means the planes get to run riot more and more and more. And that could have been a cascading effect, and I just couldn't get it to go off. Oh, yeah. And that's that's what scared me. And that's why I was like, okay, I, everything needs to go. Everything needs to separate. Yep. And uh, that, that ambush, too, I was like, ah, you know what? I was thinking about putting them somewhere here, but this was, this was like a godsend for these guys to have. You're having that ambush. Because if I had these here without the ambush, you would have just kept this here and just kept plopping them down. Oh, yeah, for sure. I would have just, yeah. I think, you know, ultimately the way I'm trying to play right now, I just need more artillery on the board. And even if it's just rockets for now, mm -hmm. even like if just adding more rockets to be able to put the smoke markers down and then to harass infantry and light stuff, um, I think that would have that would have fared better for me this game. Yeah, because as soon as you hit something with artillery like the infantry, like if you if this was still pinned... And they, those guys never got unpinned. There's like half of my Milans just not doing anything. Well, also, if I could have unpinned these infantry, and then my turn they would have gotten out and shot up the building, assaulted in. Yeah. I, I think I'm probably... I'd have to take a look to see what kind of damage I could do. There's a good chance I'm winning that fight. Yeah, um, probably. I had a lot going in. Even though you beat up a lot of them early on, too. Um, and then I could have potentially started to roll up this flank a little bit more and more and more and put pressure uh, where I needed pressure to be put. But yeah, ultimately, that's how she goes sometimes. Sometimes you get your butt kicked, sometimes you don't. So uh, any closing thoughts for the viewers at home? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been a great time. And uh, if you guys think about coming down here, do it. It's, uh, it's a great place. Uh, everyone here is really friendly and the aesthetic is awesome. So I had a great time. Well, thank you again for coming in. And viewers, hopefully you enjoyed. Leave some comments, leave some love. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. Keep being awesome. And as always, happy wargaming. Say happy wargaming. Happy wargaming. <laughs> <laughs>